All right, so a plug for Crooked Man. Um, I literally almost forgot to do this, actually, right after we recorded. So here we are. Um, man, storyline. Let's start there, person. Um, story was really good. I found that it got it kicked up a lot with Fluffy's ending. You know, that's really when I fu- when I at least found the story hit me the most. I don't know why it hit me there, but it did. Um, yeah, that story overall, it it was really good. Um, it's kind of one of those things where it's like some parts like hit you more than others, and you can relate to more of one part than another part or whatever. Excuse me. <laughs> um, okay, one thing I want to address that really pissed me off while playing this was that the um that you didn't have the ability to like go and do something like i knew like for the bathroom thing like i knew the hammer would fix it of course david didn't cuz he doesn't know how to do that like i would love it more if um you could like pick up items along the way or like you didn't have to check every single thing out you could just kind of figure it out and like, no particular order, like in Mad Father, you would pick up an item and I have no clue where it goes to. You just have it. That would have been really nice. Um, also, like, the boss battles, I found that they got, like, really, um, like, they were the same thing, just with a little bit more increased difficulty. That's at least what I found. I don't know if other people found that. But I did. Um, I, re- I really like this. I'm just trying find a structure and go with it but i don't think i can um i really liked this game um you know like it kind of had everything like every little thing i guess a person may go through like it had relationship school family had a lot of family stuff um i also didn't like how like you kind of had to go around and like see rooms and there's like some things that i would have never figured out if i didn't have a guide for like a lot of the puzzle the puzzles were pretty good um some of them they were really annoying when you try to figure them out but like going back and like watching him like yeah that's where that is <laughs> smart move smart move there um <laughs> um i don't really have a whole lot to say about this game right now although it did almost make me cry and because the ending is just so hard hitting like you know a lot of this for a lot of things with david they just didn't really work out and it's like i'm sorry bud i i can't really help you and you know and it sucks that his life or, or what we saw of his life like it was very depressing this this story oh my god you know it talked a lot about about like depression and stuff like that because obviously like the crook man was depressed and in the hospital you could see how um how the depression affected other people through the crooked man and um but duke duke was really interesting as like a kind of offset character i guess um i didn't say that right but whatever he was really interesting by the fact that like you got to know him through pages of a notebook. You know, you got to know him through his story, and you could see, like, how one led to another, led to another, led to another, and how all these things just got together. But I'm still really I'm still really confused on what, like, Sissy and Dee and Fluffy are. Um, like, I know Paul explained it a little bit. It's just, like, it was their, like, consciousness... <laughs> uh hanging around but i'm like eh that doesn't really answer if they're still alive or if they're dead or whatever you know so that that i'm still curious about and i really wish it was explained um what else do i have to say i don't know um i i think oh okay no something i do have to s- explain is how why it's so dark um with these RPG games, like, 
I'm using a really old editing software. I'm using like um, Adobe Premiere Elements. So I'm using a really, really old, not too old, but still pretty old software. And like every time I try to like line it in some things like it's perfect and then some things it's extremely bright and I don't want that. And same thing with the YouTube editor. I've tried it so many times with the YouTube editor. But I find that with these games, because they do focus on pretty dark subjects, you know, I find that it's okay that they're pretty dark. Um, I know whenever I come with the come to a game that has settings where I can actually set how bright things are, I will turn it up so much so that way you guys can actually see what I'm seeing. If you can't see... Um, and also if you're just played the game, um, all the games that I've played so far, so Mad Father, Crooked Man, um, I'm going to be playing Sandman next. Let's see. I actually have a file full of all the games I'm going to be playing. So let's see. Um, Alice Mary, Eve, Mad Father, Mermaid Swamp, um, Miasso, Paranoia, Standstill Girl, not sure if I'm going to play that. The Crooked Man, the Grey Garden, and the Sandman are all free, and I always leave um, the links to the game in the description, so that way if you guys want to play it, just to, like, see how actually bright it is for how I can see it and how I know, like, where things are. So, um, if you want to see that, or if you just want to experience the game yourself, please check them out, because they're amazing. Um, Like, they have their quirks. They do have their quirks, but, again, everything has their quirks. Um... But please check it out. They're amazing. And it's so much... It's so different. I believe I said this in Mad Father, but it's so different watching someone play and then playing it yourself. <laughs> um, so, because your experience is obviously going to be different from my experience. So, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, I am going to play The Sandman next um, to just, like, keep up with the series. And if there's any more out um any more of the series out i would love to play it um i know paranoiac i don't think that's part of the series because i know that was uh the first game and then the in the stranger man series which i believe is what it's called um it's crooked man and the sandman and i think that's all that's out right now um yeah but final thoughts final thoughts final thoughts final thoughts um, I thought this game was pretty well made. You know, story was amazing. Again, just a couple of things with, like, not being able to do certain things even though you know, like, what it is. Um, can't do those. And just the boss battles. The boss battles, it's like I would like some more, something more to them. Rather than just basically the same fight over and over and over again. Um, uh, what else? I'm trying to think. What else could there be? I don't. I don't think I would have changed anything else. To be honest. No, it was good. It's good. Um, so yeah, I guess this is where this ends. Um, but. Stay tuned for the Sandman, and I will see you in that playthrough. Bye, guys.